name's Paul Golding, I'm the Director of British Pride. I'm here in the GLA building with Assembly Member Richard Barnbrook. Now, Richard, you're fully aware that October of every year is officially designated Black History Month. Now, what's your personal opinion and views on this? Well, I don't mind, you know, if it's pulled over quite uh, fairly, then I believe every poor, everybody, every colour, wherever it may be, should have their history referred to, especially in a city like this, multicultural and diverse as much as it is at the moment. Uh, but what I am concerned about is the fact that there doesn't seem to be a real representation for the British, the white indigenous population, to actually emphasise their history. You can see behind me a whole collection of uh, characters, famous from sports, politics, to uh, our queens, the past, our great engineers, our writers, our nurses, and uh, also our kings. Absolutely. Now, do you know or can you give us any details of what the GLA or the Mayor of London, Boris Johnson, is actually providing? If he, is he providing funds for Black History Month? Is he giving his support? Oh, of course he does. He uh, only supplies finances. He also supplies locations inside the building here. You saw as you came in, which we'll probably look around later, there's a gallery location. Mm -hmm. And that constantly seems to have diversity and minority groups being promoted there. Mm -hmm. uh, there's money going out to uh, individual groups. I don't want to start naming names, it's not important to do this. Mm -hmm. But there are millions spent each year in this capital city of ours promoting minority groups. So I'm hoping you'll actually recognise that under the United Nations uh, law of uh, supporting minority groups, mm. which we're becoming, mm. and also we'll actually put up equal funds for an exhibition, I'm hoping, in the well. That's probably unlikely, but whatever does happen or doesn't happen in regards to a big portrayal of the British White History Month in November, mm. um, we will actually have an exhibition here, if necessary, either in my office or in the four area, four court area of my office. Uh, but we will have an exhibition up here representing the uh, white indigenous population that actually built this great city and also this great country of ours. Brilliant. Well, Richard, thanks for joining us and we'll come back to you later on in the month when some of this has unfolded and uh, you can update us then. Will do. Thank you. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Paul.